Uh, so let me sign here to our portal. I'm uh, going to get a, an OTB and let me just enter it. So I'll go, I'll go through the portals showing you how our uh, business client use it. So basically we, we, uh, we were, we, we spent, I think a year or so, or the team before us were uh, doing all this manually, like uh, uh, integrating with other uh, like government entities and even uh, like uh, banks or any any establishment in, in Saudi Arabia. Just to give you a brief uh, idea about uh, uh, the establishment here, they are required. Uh, by law to to register every employee in in the social insurance uh, uh, system. So uh, they uh, they have two ways: either to integrate with our APIs to add these employees, or to add them manually. And uh, we used to do it like we had these APIs uh, a while ago, and uh, most of the companies will will manually request it and everything, and require the documentation, sending emails and whatnot. So uh, when our team came in, we said, "Did you hear hear about uh, developer portals? They, it's a thing. You can you can build one and and have all these information automated, and everyone can log in and check everything." Uh, so basically, we started with with the APIs uh, that that they can integrate with the we call GUSI, which is General Organization for Social Insurance. I'll be referring to GUSI uh, with the acronyms. So uh, basically, uh, we have uh, these integration API in the Amali uh, project, which means business. Uh, these API to to add employees. So if you go here, you can see all these API. You can add a contributor. You can modify a contributor. You can terminate a modif uh, contributor. And you, when you go inside of of this API, you'll see all uh, the documentation here as as a, as a swagger uh, file. So all the technical people will love it to seeing it like this, and. Uh, uh, we have uh, testing. So if you can test all the error messages, here, uh, we give you dummy data to, to test these. And uh, you can hear or you can uh, basically uh, uh, just like in, uh, put the system, just have these, these APIs. It's, it's open. Uh, we have uh, box credentials for, for, for authentication only. Uh, so uh, basically, it's it works like this. Let me go back just a second to show you the other products, and we can we can jump into testing it in in the portal. Uh, so usually, the client will come here. Uh, either either they don't have an idea of what they want, uh, or or they have sometimes they have. But we have all these uh, four categories. Uh, uh, the Mufid one, which uh, it's an Arabic word for uh, informed, uh, it, it's a data inqu inquiry, and uh, Akid, which means uh, to validate, which is data verification. And uh, we uh, usually have these APIs uh, to to uh, to integrate with with other other uh, banks to inform what salary information and whatnot. Uh, with uh, the consent of, of the holder of the uh, wage. So basically, we'll go here. As you say before, it, we have all the details, the authentication. And uh, for this API, we have many different scenarios, behavior. We have like contributors will have different engagement. So we'll, we'll have these. Uh, scenarios uh, right here and uh, everyone can can like go through each and every one of these scenarios and test it with their system integrated with their system and uh, so basically we'll have we have a lot of different api uh, requiring about uh, uh, different type of, of information 
and this one is a payslip where we, we, we provide them the payslip of uh, uh, individuals and based on the month and whatnot. So let, let's go through this one and, and, and try and test it through our portal. Uh, uh, usually they, they'll test it here and then uh, they'll take the information and go put it in their back end or, or, or whatever they want to integrate with, whatever system they want to integrate. So uh, if I put, I think this is the correct credentials we have here. Uh, and uh, I, I don't know if I mentioned it or not. All these data are mock data. None of them are real data. Uh, they won't get any information. It's because the, well, here it's only testing and they don't need the consent of, of the individual. Uh, so if I go here and uh, put uh, an NIN, which is the national uh, uh, ID number uh, of Saudi. Uh, so if I put here, let's say, one, two, three, one, three, six. So I don't mess up. And then the period, what do I want? So if I execute it, hopefully it works. Yes, so here I'm getting the information. As you can see, this is month payslip with the basic, the housing and whatnot. And if I put it 11, execute it again, I'll get these information. Some of the information is in Arabic, these the name. So uh, depending on the data we have, we, we provide it. And all of you can see this is for the last uh, 12 months uh, or 11 months. Uh, and this how they test it. So and uh, after they uh, done testing and uh, they're looking to subscribe to our package. Uh, they'll go here and then uh, uh, choose whatever uh, service they want. Let's say they want uh, this employment statistics. We have two different of requesting the quota. We have a request quota for normal uh, establishment, which is big establishments. And we have for here for small and uh, medium uh, uh establishments uh, so when they go here as you can see this is already filled because uh i i fill it for my small sme com company uh, we only have six employees so anyone who's interested send me their cv uh, uh, and uh, they'll they'll need to enter the commercial registration number uh, and the establishment type i have a fintech uh, company uh, so anyone in, in the fintech industry, uh, also please share your uh, CV with me. Uh, I'm just joking. Uh, so they can go here and answer the survey, quick survey, establishment owned, or facility, well, another facility does it have. This uh, survey will go to our admins. So this was, uh, it will share uh, with the admin side uh, due to uh, the privacy. I'm, 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 I won't able to, to show you the admin portal itself. So basically this will go to the admin side and uh, the admin will check it and then uh, they'll apply that discount. It's, 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 it's fully automated. Uh, if, if the admin approves uh, this SME, they'll get the discount and uh, we'll send them back the quota, uh, which uh, you can see here. So here, so this is my uh, company name, which is it's, it's Ajaji Test. Very good fintech uh, uh, name. Uh, uh, the marketing team suggested to me. So, and uh, basically, you'll have it's it's it it, it uh, you have all the information here. We have zero. I uh, I ask that and don't don't charge me subscription and don't charge me onboarding. Uh, uh, so I'm getting uh, subscription uh, onboarding for free, and I'm getting 90% discount for the year, and then 60% for the second year, and 40% third year. The remaining period uh, doesn't have any discount. Uh, 
uh, so it, it it will go back to 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 the uh, original price, uh, which is uh, uh, expected. Uh, I'm planning having my company after the first year to be a big company. I don't want it to still be an SME. Uh, as we say, inshallah, after you give me all your CVs, I'll, uh, I'll go, uh, I'll have more than 100 employees. Uh, yes. So uh, also, if you, uh, if I want to request, I can request it, uh, a normal request when my company is big. And then I'll, uh, yes, for, for, for this one, uh, uh, we have, we have two type of, of monetization. One is uh, per hit, which is uh, directly per hit with, 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 with fixed price. And we have bracket ones. Uh, bracket ones is as, as more you use it, as, as it gets cheaper. So if you can see here, uh, we, we're hitting uh, from, from 100 to uh, less than 100K, it will be the fixed price. And then uh, after that, after two until uh, 200k, we'll have nine percent discount, seven percent discount, and it goes and it goes. This will be a yearly uh, bracket, so uh, it, it it helps uh, attract uh, big companies with with higher usages. It it seems to be a very successful successful monetization deal. A lot of companies will will will. Uh, will accept this uh, and and uh, it will 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 have them use the service more. Okay, so that's basically our uh, portal. I was planning to to do an admin side of the portal, but uh, uh, unfortunately we couldn't like hide what sensitive information we have. Uh, so, uh, I think, uh, uh, that's all from my side. Thank you for the presentation. Yeah. So the, the, the first time when we had the, um, showcase series, um, those were all recorded exactly for the reason that you were just saying, because a lot of things can only be shown, uh, with like real data to, to really yes. show what's happening. Uh, but a lot of that is confidential. So we needed uh, we needed to work with recordings where a lot of things could be blacked out, approved by legal. Yes. So uh, yeah, I understand the pain. Um, we had to balance it out, but I'm very happy that you could show the page. Um, while the others are typing up their questions, um, well, I have one that's besides the developer portal, but it was really interesting. Um, how is it that uh, an SME in Saudi Arabia is from six people? Like, what about the first five? That's not a company yet. Uh, no, that's mine. Uh, so uh, I, if you can see, there is one from one to five. Micro, okay. That's yes, yes, we call it, we call, uh -huh. yes, yes. It, it, it's, it still calls an SME. All these are SME, uh, mm -hmm. but we, we call it micro because it, uh, uh, for categorization better. Different. Because we, uh -huh. we've noticed be different type of establishment once they go above five persons because the, a lot of establishment will if some some sand will have one, a lot of establishment will be only one person yes and then of course they'll, they'll, i was wondering have, about that yes so that uh, we don't want to consider it uh, inside the sme it's it's still an sme but we we put it under like a micro uh, too, micro company yes mm -hmm. But my fintech, no, it's a small, it's not a my <laughs> But you said that most of the clients who are dealing with, um, who are who are integrating with these APIs are rather big establishments. Now, I don't know how difficult uh, and complicated or even complex uh, social uh, the social system in Saudi Arabia is. I come from Belgium and it's quite a headache there. So um, I have this question of, what kind of support does your team have to give for these integrations to really work? Because this really, there's, there's no space for mistakes here. Um, and uh, Katalin is asking how many people work in the Dev Portal team? So could you a little bit tell us about yes. the, the little bit bigger circle of the setup to be able to do this 
and 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 how many people work in what way okay so yes for 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 our team it's uh, uh yeah so so and so is very complex but for our team uh we are uh about uh, the the ones who work on the portal itself and the monetization and 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 uh, developing actual portal and supporting with with the client a bit uh, i'll go back to the supporting part uh, to answer your question uh but how many we have um, uh, i think we have three developers and one qa and a product owner and a scrum master uh, around six uh, but we are supported also by a uh, goosey uh, tech team uh, so uh, some of the apis they will develop it and they, we will uh, showcase it in our portal and and we'll deal with any integration part so we handle the integration and the developing of the portal uh, itself. But the API, uh, developing these API uh, is, is sometimes uh, by the Goosey team, uh, the social insurance team, they'll develop it for us and we'll, we'll integrate it with, with, with uh, and monetize it with, with uh, external entities. Uh, for the support time, so sometimes uh, we have a small like, uh, maybe two technical uh, team members who are fully aware of, of uh, the social insurance uh, business and and what rules to to uh, to apply uh, to a lot of scenarios. So whenever we get any issues uh, from the client and we deal with it, most of the issues, we'll will will we'll fix it with our team immediately uh, supporting it uh, but sometimes we'll need the support of the tech team of Goosey and it's it's a huge team so they have a lot of uh, subject uh, matter expertise specifically for any 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 issues uh, from our side or from directly from uh, like like Goosey side so we contact them to to resolve these mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Um, there is a second question. How do you make sure that your offerings are well explained to your users? Who is responsible for the content on your portal? And connected to that, what's the roadmap for the portal? Okay, so uh, uh, for uh, making sure that the offering, we have a, a, a business uh, development team who's uh, responsible for uh, studying uh, uh these these uh, uh the user behavior and 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 the client and the need if i understand correctly by by offering uh, do, is, do you mean like like the uh, the rate plans and uh, uh, the pricing for it or, or is it something else whoever asked that questions I think in general, I, maybe it's connected uh, to that support. But um, how, how long uh, how long is the portal established? This is why I also asked about the roadmap because I have yeah I, I have a feeling that you have uh, plans on putting more conceptual documentation, maybe, and then the example. Yes. So uh, yeah, this was uh, initially it was an initiative. To be honest, from from. Uh, uh, uh us working in goosey before to mm -hmm. to establish this this portal uh so we worked on it in a small team uh we first like ha only have the testing part for it because uh, the major issue is we have uh, very confidential data we don't want them to test it on our system so we had the testing and then we we it was only API to test with the, we give them the, the testing API and they can test it. Then uh, we decided to, to put it in the portal, then decided to, to have, to have the documentation there, uh, specific documentation. And then we had the subscription and then we added the invoices for the admin to, to share it with the client. And, uh, so, uh, we're, we're planning to, to have like even, uh, in, in, in the home, we want to.
we want to have all like dashboard for all the usage uh, of uh, the APIs and uh, what what's the cost that they are are are, uh, are gonna pay next month, what the expected cost uh, next year, and all the data of the user itself in in this dashboard. Currently, we have it in the admin part. The admin can see it. Uh, but we, we need to change it a little bit to, to, to fit it for the user to have all the information they need to uh, see the, their usage and know what, what, what services they want and what services they don't want, what services cost them more, and, and what services are, are not costing them that much. So, so. Mm -hmm. Allow me to ask you a question that you may not want to answer. Let's try to keep out of the weeds, but... Um, how is this that this portal is in English or is there a mirror version of it? Oh, okay. Good question. Uh, yeah, we don't have Arabic point. even. We don't have don't Arabic. It's, 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 it, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no. I, I thought you were going to ask a different question. No, this I, I love to answer. So so basically in, in Saudi, most, uh, are, most of the tech people are uh, like their English is good. So. We mm -hmm. would not worry about, and but most of our clients have like uh, uh, foreigners uh, who work on this portal. So mm -hmm. either like uh, they can speak Arabic or a little bit Arabic or no Arabic. So uh, we, uh, especially in, in in the documentation here, uh, anything technical we usually do in English uh, because the 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 concepts a lot of the concept we haven't like. Uh, translated to Arabic to 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 uh, to use it. So if you if you literally uh, translate it, even me, I won't know what you mean. Like if mm -hmm. you say an API and use an Arabic word for it, I won't understand what you're meaning. You, what do you mean? So we we try to make it uh, as easy as possible. Uh, all the tech uh, in the tech industry, we we. We use English for for documentation and whatnot, so that's why we we, we started with English and we stuck for English. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, uh, we're planning on 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 having it in Arabic. So. Yeah, thank you for answering it. Um, I guess uh, that as the portal matures, you're you're going to have to find some bridges, as it happens in with most portals. Uh, the the bigger the user group becomes, the more there is need for different types of uh, audiences to be served. Um, thank you very much. Um, I wish we could talk further. Um, yeah, I would like to have... stay a whole hour. I know a lot of people are waiting for their uh, turn, so it's it's been it's been great talking, and uh, I I really loved the questions and. Uh, uh, good luck with uh, whoever presenting next. And <laughs> I won't enjoy that. <laughs> Thank you, Abdullah, and uh, see you uh, at the next time when you're presenting. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you.